Now, in this episode, I want to particularly talk about advantages of mantle transfer or impartation. When you are the one that is the recipient, you are the receiver of this same. I may talk about the other end. Now, in the case of mantle transfer, you totally take everything, including responsibility of the previous. That's where mantle transfer becomes a problem. Because if you are transferred to the mantle, given the mantle, you don't just carry the grace that has that mantle with the mantle. You carry the disadvantages, the burden, the battles, fully. It's a different one. And uh, when we talk about spiritual fatherhood, we can talk about the mantle and the impartation at the same time. Spiritual fatherhood is that the owner and the server of the grace is still alive and uh, operating. When it comes to mantle transfer, when you receive a mantle that has been transferred to you, there is a very high possibility you will have no spiritual fatherhood from the same mantle transferrer. Why? Because most of the times you will find either he has expired or retired or rather passed on. So you will not have a lot of cover. The only thing you will have is the spirit of your mentor of which you also have to get to know how to operate in it. This is where sometimes it may look diabolical when people who don't have insight in the spirit comes to this realm. It may look diabolical, of which it's not. You realize when Elisha died, we don't have records of who really took the mantle of prophet Elisha. <clears throat> So the man dies with the entire anointing. So nobody inherited it. They buried the prophet, Elisha. So when he was buried in a hole, a, a cemetery, at one moment they forgot where his uh, tomb was. And then they, there was a scenario where somebody else was buried. And it happens that the bones were the bones of Elisha. So the man was buried on top of the bones of the prophet. Then he resurrected. The anointing was in the bones still. The man resurrected and started rolling around. We, we see that. We see that. The advantage of anointing that was preserved. We talk about preservation. It was preserved. They didn't know. They didn't know it was a preservation as much as it was. That's an advantage. Now, the battles, you will still have the battles at the same time, the, uh, the contingencies at the same time. Now, there are people, if you have not received the fight, the battles, the backlash of what you saw, the man transferring mantle to you, that means you didn't receive that mantle. <laughs> because if you receive a mantle, you receive everything. The advantages and the disadvantages all together at once. Now, it's a little easier with the impartation part of it. Because if you receive impartation, the owner and the source of the grace or the anointing rather is still alive. You can always refer back to him. Oh, my father. My mother, this is what I have. The battle is like this, like this. I have the grace you have. Now, what do you do if this once happened? If this happened? If this thing happened, how do you tackle it? If this happened, what do you do to change the story? You call. You can talk. You can visit back and see solutions of everything. Advantages of getting the impartation is that you can always follow a worked out manual. You can look at someone and see how to handle grace in other side of disadvantage. You can still have a manual. It is hard to walk by your own road, of which some people walk by their own road because God comes to them directly. 
like Moses did it. No manual. No followed example. No other thing. But in the case of where there is an example, that's when we talk about these impartations and worked out example. Examples are there. You can follow. You can walk in. You can stand in and say, this is exactly what we can deal with, how we can deal with it, and this is what we need to wonder. And not to wonder, to marvel. If not to marvel, to enjoy. If not to enjoy, to celebrate. I'm Timothy Profitable one more time, and this is Blevoy. We handle your spirituality, economic, and social matters in this channel.